My name is Charles Armitage. I served in the United States Marine Corps in Vietnam. And I had been telling people since I was five years old I was going to be a Marine. Americans have gone to far lands to fight for freedom. We have learned at a terrible and a brutal cost that retreat does not bring safety and weakness does not bring peace. And it is this lesson that has brought us to Vietnam. I got ordered to Vietnam in January of 69. I joined Mike Company, 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marine Division. I was in infantry, or grunt, as the Marine Corps calls it, and I carried an M60 machine gun. It was not my primary MOS. But when I joined my company, they needed machine gunners, so I became a machine gunner. Part of my story is I was actually toe tagged KIA. For a corpsman that got to me, toe tagged me. About 10, 15 minutes later, our platoon corpsman came by, and Alabama said, Doc, he's already been tagged. KIA. Doc said, no, I ain't tagged him yet. He worked on me for over 20 minutes before he got a heartbeat. They medevac me out, we'll get back to the company that I'd passed away before we got to the hospital. They did emergency surgery at Third Med. I rejoined my unit on the 4th of July. So people I seen with Alabama and Tennessee, I hollered at them, they said, you're dead. Give you a funny feeling. Some people have asked me, do I consider myself a hero? No, I'm not. The heroes is the one that did not come home. The heroes are the ones that buried at Arlington, any national cemetery, all the cemeteries around the world where our servicemen are buried. They are the true heroes. About 30 years after Vietnam, I came home from work one day. The wife was cooking supper, and she said, oh, by the way, you got to go to the post office and pick up a letter for you. I didn't know what it was. So the next day after I got off work, I went to the post office. They laid an envelope in my hand, and I had a funny feeling. Uh, it's a feeling I really can't describe. I went to my truck, I opened it up. It was a dog tag they had cut off of me when I was wounded in Vietnam. When I opened the envelope, my dog tag fell out into my hand. I lost it. I cried. Because it brought back both good memories and bad memories. Good memories is, I made it home. The sad part was, a lot of young men and women did not come back. That's why, if I see a veteran, young or old, I, I tell them, thank you for your service. So, wars are going to be fought. Young men and women are going to die. But if you ever see one, 
tell them, thank you for your service. Because it was years I was never told that. And it hurts. Because what I did, I didn't do it for myself. I did it for my country, my fellow countrymen.